Hello everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are reacting to the brand new song by Avenged Sevenfold. The title of the song is Nobody. This is their first song since 2016 when they released the stage. They said they've been working on this album that's coming out. They actually announced an album with this song, which is unbelievable. They've been working on it for the past four years. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to sound. I really don't even know what sort of expectations to have. A little bit of background for me is I am like the Avenged Sevenfold fan. At least in my past, they were like my band growing up. Like my absolute favorite, you know, all my usernames on social media were Caitlyn A7X. They were like my band. You know, I picked the number seven in sports all the time <laughs> because of this band. Um, I've seen them live six times. So I might end up being a little bit biased in this, but we're gonna see. You know, I wasn't really super impressed with the stage. Um, I just feel like ever since Jimmy passed away, things have really changed in the songwriting realm. Like, the band is still good as a whole, like when they play live or whatever, they still have the talent there, but I feel like the songwriting sort of falls flat. I'm just not really into the modern Avenged Sevenfold vibes, but we're going to see how it goes today. I could love it. I could hate it. I'm going to try not to be biased or anything. Um, I've been waiting a long time for some new A7X music. I feel like it's been forever and uh, it might sort of like bring me back into that fandom a little bit. So we'll see. Okay, so it's time to listen to the new song. So like I said, the song is called Nobody and apparently there is an official music video on their YouTube channel. So let's see how this goes. interesting stupid ads <laughs> just pause this for a moment. This is another acid trip vibe, sort of like the stage. The stage was really a concept album in a way, but based in reality, it was like about time and space and existence of humanity and really deep shit, right? Like this kind of has those crazy like acid trip LSD vibes <laughs> and celestial vibes. Okay, let's talk about the music really quick. It's kind of nasty, you know, like heavy. It's different than what I expected. Um, Avenged Sevenfold has done so many different styles of music throughout history. They've done metalcore, they've done sort of like mainstream pop, they've done the classic stuff on their version of the Black Album. They've done all sorts of things. This is a little different than anything I've really heard from them. I'm the type of person, like, I know their catalog from front to back, every word to every song. This is different. I will say I'm not really a fan of M. Shadow's vocal work on this yet. I don't know if it's just age or something else, but not really into it. Anyways, let's let's give it a chance. It's only a minute in. Ooh, I like that face. Classic Sinister Gates noodling. It's not doing it for me though. These skeletons are a representation of me after waiting for a new album for seven years. It's gonna be seven years, wow. There's some trumpets. A little piece of heaven vibes. This 
music video is freaking weird, by the way. It's like stop motion. I don't know why, but stop motion has always been so eerie to me. Something about it is just creepy. I don't know. I've always felt that way. Anyways, this is, like I said, acid trip. Like, I can't even follow what's going on. <laughs> I know there's a deep message in this video, by the way. I just gotta figure it out for myself. Flying. Deep breaths. Nobody. That's the one thing I like about this so far is that wow, it's like nasty. You know, I don't. That's just the best way I can explain it. But <sighs> I want to know what what they were on when they wrote this. I don't know. Maybe completely sober, but. skeletons doing that one has a flamethrower <laughs> i'm trying to figure out what the message is here i feel like i'm kind of stupid because i have no idea what i'm supposed to be picking up i'm not picking up what they're throwing down right now another thing i want to say is i don't really think it's necessarily the vocals that i don't like i think it's the mixing of the vocals like this doesn't sound highly produced like most of Inch sevenfold work has in the past some that just don't sound right i don't know i, I have a hard time believing they've been working on this for four years figure out what what he's saying either. I don't really understand the lyrics. The trumpets are cool. Oh. I'm not catching the symbolism at all though. <laughs> Small brain. I do like that, that part. Yeah. We made it to acid land. I don't know. <laughs> Very pretty. Very creative and original video idea. This is really cool. The video is better than the song. This is their second album with Brooks Wackerman as the drummer, by the way. I noticed his work a lot in here. Ooh, yeah. I'm a sucker for Sinister Gates. I like anything he does. That's me right now. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> At least they're matching the vibe. I do like this. Give it a moment here. Oh, actually, the song's almost over. Let's just let it ride out. I have a lot of thoughts. Like, did the guy die or did he go on an acid trip? I don't know exactly what happened. But it's still cool. The album is called Life is But a Dream. So it's some sort of dream-esque vibe. Okay, 
I can tell Avenged Sevenfold is still in their like psychedelic acid trip <laughs> experimental phase sort of progressive um let me collect my thoughts really quick this is this is different okay like I said um I feel like this is like sort of like a Pink Floyd meets like a more progressive I don't even know how to explain this it's cool that it's original um I feel like this really could have been a bonus track on the stage which I guess they're just still in that same phase I was kind of hoping for a new sound or just something a little different um, I saw M Shadows talking recently on Twitter about how he's really into hardcore and I was hoping it would be like a hardcore album similar to Waking the Fallen I guess like hardcore I guess metalcore whatever I was hoping for something like that but I knew that I would, shouldn't hold my breath because like these guys are older now they've done everything I think um, I mean Matt says his favorite album to date right now at least is the stage so I'm like of course they're gonna still be in that phase I don't know I just miss Jimmy's songwriting he had a, like a more spooky element to him more like Halloween I guess which I'm, I'm that type of person I like that sort of vibe um I don't know it was more like theatrical um almost classical this is just like I said more progressive and it's just a little different and unique which I'm glad that they're doing something that well they have done it before so I don't really know where I'm going with that but anyways <laughs> as someone who at one point wanted a death bat tattoo was like in love with Avenged Sevenfold I'm surprised that I didn't like this more than I did um I kind of feel the way I did about the stage with this one it just does not hit for me I don't know if I have a short attention span or something I liked Sinister Gates work on this um I, I liked that main like riff like I said it was just gross like I don't know <laughs> how else to explain it <laughs> Just that nasty, grimy, heavy sound. That was pretty cool, and I didn't expect it. That's like the first thing you hear in the song, which is cool. Um, honestly, the music video is a really fun adventure, but overall, this song isn't really doing it for me. It might grow on me over time, but I'm not really putting much hope into this album as an Avenged Sevenfold fan. Um, I think if you separate yourself from their past music and sort of just give it a new chance, you might like it. Um, like for me, I never go back and listen to the stage, hardly ever. Not the title track, none of the singles. Um, I might listen to Exist every now and then if I'm wanting like a long psychedelic journey type of thing, but most of the time I don't go back to that album. The most recent work by Avenged Sevenfold that I like is Hail to the King. Of course, that one didn't have Jimmy songwriting, but the point of that album was to like pay an honor to the original metal bands like Metallica and Megadeth. Slayer, not really Slayer, but you guys get what I mean. Those old school classic metal bands. Um, so that one's sort of like they kind of copied other bands on purpose on that one. So I feel like that's the only one that has really been good since Jimmy passed away, unfortunately. I hate to be that person to be like, Avenged Sevenfold died with Jimmy, blah, blah, blah. I know that's toxic and Avenged Sevenfold are artists and they're free to create what they want and what they're feeling at the time. And I'm glad they do that without giving a shit what people think. If they released what people wanted, it just wouldn't be as genuine. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to shit all over them for this. For me personally, I didn't really like it. This is my first negative review, I think, on my entire channel, which is crazy. But yeah, you have it here. I didn't really like this song. If I had to rate it, like, out of five stars, musically, I would give it, like, a four. Honestly, personal taste, I'd give it a two and a half or maybe a three if I'm generous but honestly musically I'd say like a four I feel like it's adventurous it's experimental it's fun I don't know I guess we'll see how this album is gonna be with future singles coming out um I don't think they're gonna go very commercial with this one I think they're just doing whatever the hell they want they're in their legacy phase now they've really reach their peak they can do whatever the hell they want at this point so i'm excited to see what the rest of the album sounds like let me know in the comments down below what you think of this song do you think it's good tell me what you would rate it out of five stars i'm very curious what the popular opinion on this one is gonna be but anyways that's all i have for this video so thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video hit the dislike if you didn't like it that's totally fine uh subscribe for future music related content i'm gonna be doing a lot of like reviews and analyses and reactions on metal and rock music and like tier lists, rankings, all that sort of thing. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!